Il y a une formation qui nous a lourdement et longuement impressionné hier à l'occasion de la première journée de la Strike Tour. C'est la team Sirius avec deux victoires. Ils ont littéralement annihilé l'opposition. On va prendre la réaction, la température avant cette journée importante. Le dernier carré, ce sont les demi-finales qui démarrent dans quelques instants. Avec Eric, qui va nous expliquer dans quel état d'esprit ils sont. The state of mind coming into this, this really important moment. This is the semi-finals qualifying for a final. Yesterday, you guys, yesterday you guys obliterated the competition. How are you guys feeling today? We're extremely confident today. We got every person in yesterday, so we're really excited to see who's matched up and who's willing to play well. So we're really excited. On est très excité évidemment à la perspective d'aller chercher un superbe résultat hier. Tout a marché pour nous euh, et évidemment on, on essaie de, de réitérer cela aujourd'hui à l'occasion de la demi-finale tout d'abord. Uh, obviously there was a lot of competition in the Strike Tour, the Masters event taking place as well. There's a lot of bowling to be had, a lot of fun to be had as well. And I'm sure you guys are going to give us a, a, a show today, a show unlike any other. Absolutely. I mean, we have some. We have one of the best bowlers in the world on our team. We have a fantastic group of people, and they love to bowl, and that's what makes us different. Is we are very cohesive. We love to to be with each other, and we're really excited to bowl together, no matter what happens. Voilà, on est très content. On a un collectif très soudé aussi avec des joueurs d'exception, l'un des meilleurs joueurs de la planète Terre. Et on va retrouver un petit peu tout ce collectif ensemble pour voir ce qu'on est capable de produire aujourd'hui à l'occasion de cette demi-finale qui démarre incessamment sous peu. Thank you, Mark and Kerry, for your insights into this upcoming match between Team Sirius and Team France for the Division I title, with the winner earning the right to face Matt McNeil and Team Vega for the championship. Team Sirius going with Kerry Martinez, Liz Johnson, Jamie Gonzalez, and Steve Sanderson. Team France going with Enzo Franco, Valentin Saulnier, Manon Grancier, and Enzo Bergamino. It will be Team France kicking things off. And here's Marc Chavet and Bruno Bedone, your French voices for this competition. My name is Bruce Hall. I'm your international voice for this Strike Tour series. And of course, these two teams have met before with Team Sirius romping over Team France 258 to 212. And let's see how France can come back. And of course, this is the title match for Division One. The winner earning the right to face Matt McNeil and Team Vega for the championship. And here we will see Enzo Franco kicking things off. The French team going with youth here. Enzo only 21 years old, but a beautiful strike through the pocket. A little bit about the pattern. We are on the gateway arch pattern, 42 feet, 26 mils of oil, and a fair bit of oil in the middle to work the ball. You can see there, that Enzo threw it down the oil line, got it out to the dry, and the ball turned through the pocket perfectly. Here is our first look at Kerry Martinez. I know him as KJ, uh, out at the Arizona State program. And Kerry, of course, the captain of Team Sirius. And Kerry with a beautiful stroke right up the 12 or 13 board, gets it out to the dry and turns up and matches the strike by Enzo. So we are tied here in the first frame. And look at this out to the dry, turns through the pocket. You're going to see that same shape on almost every bowler because this pattern does give you a fairly defined place to play on the lane. Now let's look at Captain Valentin Saulnier. He's the veteran and the old man on this team at age 27. And let's see how Valentin attacks this gateway arch oil pattern. That is a reality check in his hands and he crosses the oil, gets it out to the dry and smashes the pocket. A beautiful shot there. Let's watch where this crosses. That crosses around 16 or 17 out to the dry, turns up through the pocket and just crushes the pins. Here's Liz Johnson from the U.S. PWBA star. Liz throwing a phase two. Liz will definitely be going straighter than some of the other players. Let's see how she plays the soil pattern. That looks right up between the second and third arrow. Caught a little bit of oil, didn't quite make the turn, and so leaves a flat 10 for Liz. She's like, come on, make the turn. Uh, didn't quite get there. And Liz will move to the plastic ball for the spare. Strike Tour Series is a special event organized by Bowling Promotion and our friend Bruno Bedone for the French Federation and the French Olympic Sport Channel. 
for the promotion of bowling in general and the French teams specifically. And we have seen some fantastic competition here. As you see, Liz go after the 10 pin and uh, just <laughs> narrowly makes it. Good thing there's an extra coating on those pins so she was able to make it. And it looks like we might have a small break in the action here. Uh, perhaps a mechanical issue. And we'll watch Liz's shot again. Let's see exactly where she crosses on the lane. Look at those two dark boards right between the second and third arrow, right up those boards, dead straight, and just doesn't quite make the turn into the pocket. So after this nine show event, team event, we will have a singles event coming up that we'll tell you about. Also should note that Bruno Badone is now soliciting entries for the 2023 bowling promotion. The competition is filmed across various parts of beautiful France at the end of September. And if you have any interest in seeing France and all its beauty, I would strongly recommend you consider uh, that competition. You can go to the Bowling Promotion website and have a look at what's going on with the 2023 competition. This, of course, the 2022 edition of this competition. Now, Manon Grancier, we saw her in many previous events from last year and earlier in this competition. And I guarantee you she will have a nice solid line position and a beautiful stroke. And there it is. Look at that. Over 12. How to the pocket. Perfect shot. Manal with a beautiful shot. I've never seen her fall off a shot. She has perfect balance and just a beautiful game. Watch this. This is a, actually it's around 14 board, a little bit deeper than I've seen her play. But she gets that turn up through the pocket. And that would be the three bagger, the front three for Team France and a 20 pin lead now over Team Sirius. This is our first look at Jamie Gonzalez from Colombia. And let's see how he attacks this gateway arch oil pattern. And again, a little deeper over third arrow, turns through the pocket, slaps the 10, and beautiful shot there by Jamie. And now, that does nothing to cut into the lead of Team France. So Team Siri is still in a 20-pin deficit. He knows he liked it. Got it out to the dry and recovered beautifully. It's our first look at Enzo Bergamino from France. And Enzo, a... He's waiting now for something. Oh, here we go, green light. It's another storm ball. Could that be an IQ tour? And let's see how Enzo attacks this pattern. And beautiful shot. Play on. Oh, look at that nine pin. That was a nasty break for the French team. A beautiful shot there. And watch this just come a little bit high in the pocket. Just a touch. These balls are so powerful, they just drive right through the pocket. No deflection at all, leaving Enzo with that solid nine. Can't really call that an unfair hit um, because the ball is a little bit high in the pocket, drives through the pocket. Uh, the flush eight and the seven pin we've seen in this competition a few times, some of those are legitimate terrible breaks that was just a little bit high in the pocket and now let's have our first look at Steve Sanderson and let's see what Steve can do here I'm going to say it's reasonably important that they strike here to try to keep up with Team France because they look locked in And Steve, by far playing the move for, oh, got that way out the window outside. And that came up way light for the six count. And unfortunately, that ball was never on line and with no chance to get to the pocket. And let's see if Steve can convert that one, two, five, eight combination. And basically straight at it into the pocket. Thank you. 
And yes, sir, right through the middle and makes the spare. So there's a little victory, but unfortunately, France is still with the now 19 pin lead. And back to the top of the order. Of course, we have four bowlers in 10 frames, and it is a Baker competition. So the first two bowlers represent the ninth and 10th frame. So the actual anchor bowler for Team Sirius will be Liz Johnson, and the anchor bowler for Team France is Valentin Saulnier. Please stay tuned afterwards. Marc Chavez will interview both Kerry and Valentin after the match. Get their perspectives on this match. And there's a, another beautiful shot by Enzo. Dead flush. This team is locked in, this French team, and looking for a bit of revenge after the last match. And again, trying to get through to the final. We thought we might have an all-France final, but Team Vega was able to defeat the other French team in this competition. So it will be Matt McNeil and Team Vega facing the winner of this match. And of course, you can see all this action on this YouTube channel. Just hit subscribe. And here is KJ's second shot. Went dead flush first time. That looks like a carbon copy of the first shot. Beautiful shot, but unfortunately, Team Sirius now on a Dutch deuce pace. I don't think that's going to be enough to keep up with France. And again, beautiful right out over the 12 board. Turns up through the pocket and kaboom, 10 back. Beautiful shot. Now here is Captain Valentin with his second of three shots. You can see that layout he's got on that reality check with the pin down. Power players often do that, to try to get the ball into a roll earlier on the lane so it doesn't go way down the lane and then make a wild move at the end. You want a more of an arky reaction. And you can see that ball goes down, makes the turn perfect through the pocket. Team France just devastating the pins with a beautiful shot there. Wide open. Look at that cocked arm. Gets all of it at the bottom. And oh yes, sir. Beautiful shot there by Captain... Saulnier. And let's see if Liz can get Team Sirius its first double here. Let's see if she moves a little outside to catch some dry or how she adjusts. Try to get some reaction here. That is a little bit further outside. It turns through the pocket. Beautiful shot there by Liz. Gets Team Sirius its first double. And keeping the lead at 19. So basically keeping Sirius in this match, in shouting distance. But again, France looking very, very strong here. I'm gonna slap that 10 out, thank you very much. And she knows she liked it, come on, turn, 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 thank you. Thank you, Ted Pin. I'm an all second shot. Dead flush through the pocket the first time, like just about every other French ball. And once again, looking like a carbon copy of the first shot. That is a triple again. That's triple, spare, triple for the French team. And they have come to play here today. Look at this beautiful line position. You cannot teach that. Just beautiful shot. And she knows it, so. Actually, you can teach it. The French coach is there and uh, certainly encouraging that beautiful balance at the line. Now it's Jamie Gonzalez. Jamie did strike his first time, and he could they could really use a strike here again to keep the lead at 19. And right over third arrow, right? Looks pretty good. Turns through. Beautiful strike there by Jamie, and that is keeping this serious team in the match as we move into the eighth frame. And that was perfect strike there by Jamie, and he knew it. So two for two for Jamie. Beautiful shot. Now Enzo Bergamino, this will be his last shot. Then we'll move to 
Enzo and Valentin for the last two frames for Team France. Can Enzo extend this triple? And a pretty good looking ball. A little bit high, but he gets it. And that high hit was what left him the nine pin last time. But guess what? This time he gets it to extend the string of France to four strikes in a row. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. France with a possible 279. And Sirius could go out for 260, 260. Now Steve Sanderson missed the head pin the first time. Let's see what we can do here. And pulls it up right at the pocket and gets the strike. Huge shot there by Steve to keep Sirius in the match once again. Matching strike for strike. France is enjoying a 19 pin lead as we go into this eighth frame, or excuse me, this ninth frame. It will be up to Enzo and Valentin. Of course, they hold their own fate in their hands. If they can get a couple more strikes here, it will shut out the serious team. And Enzo, of course, two for two so far with two perfect flush strikes. See what he does here. And how about three for three? Beautiful shot there by Enzo. Can't ask any more than that for a, your leadoff player. Beautiful shot there. Watch this release. He gets that hand open and gets around it. It's all the power, and all that power is delivered at the pins. Dead flush, no doubt about it. Now it's Kerry Martinez in a must strike situation. Actually, you can see his ball there with the pin down as well. Try to get that ball into a roll. We don't want any massive skid flip here. We want nice arcing behavior out of the bowling ball. Gary lines up. He knows he needs it. And pretty good looking shot. Turn up and gets it. Keeping it at 19 and keeping Team Sirius in the match. Both teams now with five in a row since the fourth frame. It's a beautiful shot here. I carry, turned it up. Very nice, and he gets it. Hugely important strike here. Teams are matching strike for strike. Look at those matching five baggers here by these teams. And here is Valentin Solier with the whole, with all the weight of the team on his shoulders. If he can strike here, he can shut out Team Sirius. And yes, sir. Dead flush through the pocket. And it will be Team France advancing to face Team Vega for this Team Baker Series, the Strike Tour Series Baker Team Competition Final. Watch this shot. They're all just carbon copies of each other, right over 17. Turns through the pocket and dead flush. I'll tell you, every ball by the Team France has been absolutely buried in the pocket. And an impressive display here by Team France. After losing the first match to Team Series, we might note 258 to 212. They come back with a possible 279 here. And can Captain Saulnier finish it off? He got that one a little bit inside, but guess what? It lays off and goes flush. Team France in the 270s. What a performance by Team France in punching their ticket into the final match of this Strike Tour Series Baker Team competition. Say what you will about grind outs, it's fun watching strikes. And this French team is locked in and just bowling beautifully here. Can he finish off the 279? Gets it a little bit right, but again comes up to go dead flush. 279 with just that one nine pin by Enzo Bergamino. Otherwise, it would have been. A perfect Baker 300 for Team France. And unfortunately, Liz, as the anchor bowler, 
has nowhere to go. The best she can do is strike out and shoot 2.60, 260 for the serious team. And we'll watch her finish things off here. Then please stay tuned for the interview with Carrie Martinez and Valentin Saulnier. And unfortunately, Liz goes through the beak. And just adding the score up here. And that will put them now in the 230s if she makes this and strikes. And no problem on the spare. And you know, we'll be Team Sirius in the 230s. And it was at 19 pins deficit basically the entire match. And Team Sirius doing, a, doing their best to match strike for strike in the back end of the game. But Team France just coming through and punching their ticket. Going off the sheet, 279. And congratulations to Team France. They will move on to face Team Vega and 238 score for Team Sirius. So once again, we'll see some stats here on the match. And please stick around for the interview with Marc Chavez and Kerry Martinez and Valentin Saulnier. Once again, my name is Bruce Hall. It's my pleasure to be your international voice for this competition. We have one more show for this Team Baker series, and that will be the championship right here on this YouTube channel. Thanks, everyone. Match des matchs depuis le début de cette première édition du Strike Tour. 279 points pour l'équipe de France, une qualifiée pour la finale. On va aller chercher tout de suite une réaction avec le capitaine. On l'a surnommé Strike Man. C'est un oiseau, non. C'est un avion, non. C'est Strike Man. C'est Valentin Saulnier. Valentin, félicitations pour cette performance. Toute l'équipe a vraiment brillé. Ça a été un festival de strike. Vos impressions C'était vraiment un match où on redoutait beaucoup. Parce que déjà, ils nous avaient battu euh, sèchement euh, en phase de poule. Euh, on a rejoué exactement la même configuration. Nous, piste 5, eux, piste 6. La piste 5, on a beaucoup d'équipes ont perdu dessus parce qu'elle est un peu moins facile que l'autre. Et donc, on a vraiment serré notre jeu. On a vraiment joué 100% de notre, notre jeu, le, le meilleur jeu qu'on pouvait. Et on a réussi à faire 279. Malheureusement, un de nos, un de nos équipes y a laissé une qui euh, un peu malchanceuse. On aurait presque pu faire le score parfait. Euh, euh, vraiment, on a joué une qualité de jeu magnifique. En tout cas, pas de regret à avoir, bien sûr. Maintenant, il y a la finale. Vous avez battu l'équipe qui était celle qui avait dominé le, la compétition hier, à l'occasion de la première journée. Maintenant, comment vous allez aborder le, la rencontre face à la Team Vega euh, déjà se remettre de, de ces émotions là euh, on sait que bah, même s'ils si, euh, ont un peu moins gagné Team Vega euh, ils, sont, ils ont des joueurs d'une qualité euh, très, très, très très forte et donc il va falloir euh, refaire une performance équivalente voire même plus euh, être encore plus sérieux et puis, euh, et puis euh, tout simplement faire des strikes et espérer, euh, espérer que ça suffise et puis une équipe française en finale d'un tournoi qui se déroule en France il y a une saveur toute particulière quand même oui, notre équipe, juste avant, s'était fait éliminer par justement la Team Vega. Euh, il fallait absolument qu'on qu brille sur cette demi-finale pour au moins représenter la France sur la finale et puis maintenant gagner. Merci, Valentin. Let's hand it over to Kerry Martinez as well. It's all over for Team Sirius. We were talking minutes ago about the ambition, how you guys are going to storm into the final, but that's the law of bowling, isn't it? It's what happens on the lanes that determines the outcome. It was a great match. Um, your thoughts after this, this defeat, sadly? It is uh, unfortunate, but the thing is, they bowled phenomenal. Our opponent, Team France, 279 is a hard game to beat, and they bowled phenomenal. They struck, I mean, 11 times. That's really difficult to beat, but it was an honor to bowl against them, and we're going out with pride. We did phenomenal, so very proud in our team. Voilà, beaucoup de fierté, nous dit Kerry Martinez, par rapport euh, au travail réalisé par le, le collectif. Évidemment, euh, kudos, donc bravo euh, à l'équipe de France 1 qui a fait un, un super numéro avec 11 strikes sur la route des 279 points emmagasinés. Ils ont fait le nécessaire, ils ont été jusqu'au bout de l'aventure. Et bien sûr, venir de France ici, going up against a French team, il y a quelque chose de spécial about having a French team in the final, nevertheless. Absolutely. Et comme je l'ai dit avant, c'est un honneur que, hey, si ils nous battent pour arriver there, so be it. Very proud of them. They're great people, great bowlers. I mean, phenomenal team. So they have ex extreme talent, and I hope they go all the way. Voilà, Kerry dit, bah, effectivement, le fait de pouvoir, euh, eh bien, tout simplement tirer le rideau face à une équipe euh, comme de, de la trempe de l'équipe de France 1. Euh, C'est un honneur d'avoir pu les affronter. C'était super d'avoir cette belle confrontation. Thank you so much for the kind words. Merci beaucoup à Kerry Martinez. Merci à Valentin. Et on a hâte de voir cette super finale. Team Vega, Team France 1.